uh, Janelle, there, there's a question I was just looking in the chat, and Justin, maybe you want to read that one out about what young women should be thinking. Yeah, the, the, we've got a couple other uh, good ones here. Um, and so this one has to actually do with uh, the, the best piece of advice. And so I just wanted to skip across over to the East Coast. Nicole Chapman from Edison, New Jersey asks, uh, what, what is the best piece of advice that you've been given over your career in leadership that you would want to pass on to other women? Okay, Janelle, go for that, that one. I love it. I think it actually, it's a great piece of advice and it's very applicable to um, also how we are trying to lead, I think in this time of uh, crisis. Um, and that is to lead with empathy and transparency. So Linda mentioned communication, and I think it is so critical at any time um, to make sure that you are communicating with all the people around you, whether it's your team, whether it's your leadership, your clients, but having that communication and, and being as empathetic as possible. So when you think about what we're going through right now, where our work world has changed, our kids are home, we're trying to homeschool. There is so many different factors that are new that we are trying to navigate. And being able to remember that it's going to be a little bit different for everybody. So when I think about that piece of advice on how to really lead and have any every interaction lead with empathy, I just think it's, it's so critical right now that if you want to be an effective leader, you have to have that piece of empathy and that um, emotional intelligence to make sure that you're communicating in that way with the people around you. Yeah, that's so true. And in fact, we, call, we coined the phrase chief empathy officer for CEO, because I think that's where a lot of people and leaders are going. So I'd be very remiss if I didn't mention that both of you are mothers of young children. So I know that uh, that has been particularly onerous for women who are working full time and also trying to take care of, of their kids. So homeschooling is not easy at the best of times, but when you've got a full time job, it's really hard. So uh, Linda, a little mm -hmm. bit uh, from you on that. And then maybe Janelle, you have some advice for some of our listeners who are in the same position as well. Well, when you have a full time job, and you're working at home on that full-time job, it creates a whole other group of complexities. Uh, probably the single biggest issue that I had during this time was, uh, was the online school, because not all the school districts are, were proficient in how to handle online school. And my 12-year-old had a heck of a time being able to manage through that. And it really, I saw her grades go from really high grades and then they took a, a dip. And that was that was so hard for her because she, she lost a lot of her self-esteem. I think the thing that we have to do is this is where what Janelle says about empathy comes in very strongly. And that is we not only have to have empathy for our, for the people that we're leading, we have to have empathy for everyone, including ourselves. And that's a place where a lot of women especially have a difficult time because we're so busy managing the household and now we're home and our children are home and we really have to kind of hone in. I had many conversations over Zoom with teachers to try to figure out what to do to help my daughter through this. It it's, can be very daunting, but the good news is, is that everyone is going through it and we really can come together and make this better. 